Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing today? I'm pretty good. I'm going to do um, something a little bit different today. I'm going to do the Ghost Ribbon Pour, but I'm going to do it with three different colors on the canvas, canvas like... Um, base colors. Uh, base colors, like an um, ombre. Oh, I'm going okay. from light to dark down the canvas. All right. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. It is, uh, my paint has no water, no silicone, no glue in it. These are all from Color to Go by Amsterdam. By Amsterdam, by Sherwin Williams. Okay. <laughs> You're going to so, tell what the colors are. I will. Just hang on here, Phil. I'm trying to think what I'm going to do here. After I get this first color on, then I'll tell them. This is Surfing, which is one of my all-time favorites, as you all know. Yeah, that's definitely a beautiful color. Hopefully I have enough, which I believe I do. I'm gonna try to do this. We'll see. Might be overlapping a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. I'm just gonna put these on. Oh, I gotta I only have one left. Okay, well, we'll put them on here. Oh, that's my first one. Second color is blue plate. You get the gist of this, so. Ah. Again, these are just simply uh, paints from Sherwood Williams from their Color to Go series. You can get lots of different colors. They work well right out of the can for what Kathy likes to use them for. I thought this was going to happen. No, that's fine. The blend, it sort of blends anyway, so. Ah! Might have to come back and do this. Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. That'll be fine. It's only paint, Phil. I heard you go. <gasps> And this is Anchors Away. We're gonna see what this one looks like. They all kind of blend anyway, so. Yeah, that's fine. It's not gonna. I think it'll give it some really cool anything. composition. Well, Character. We'll see. We shall see, Phil. So, this is going to be quite interesting, everyone. Okay. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, yeah, actually. I mean, it is pretty. Yes, it is. Okay, i got to cover these up. And in the meantime, the colors I'm using today are Amsterdam Brilliant Blue. I am using Golden Green Gold. Oh no, yeah. And that's oh that's golden green. Master gold. Touch Rouge. I know. <laughs> I had the uh, I have them mixed up, but okay. that's okay. We get the idea. Well that's good. I'm glad you got the idea. Okay, so just gonna dump these on my canvas. On your canvas? <laughs> on my I think your brain is a neutral, I think. <laughs> Because uh, I'm so excited to try Well, this. I know you are. You're very excited. And so, you're thinking of what you're going to be doing. So uh, I just didn't want anybody to think that was your canvas. Well, I'm sure they and can I tell know. it's a they, paper plate. They knew it was I mean, if they don't know it's a paper plate, oh my. That would not be good. Well, you, technically, you can use anything as your canvas. I'm sure people have used Canvas paper is plates. just a, 
an object to receive the art. Okay, now, number four, catalyst wedge. I got it right, yay! Now, I'm dipping my catalyst wedge into these paints. We're gonna see what happens. So you're trying to get the paint onto the teeth of the wedge. Okay, Phil. Here we go. Oh, wow. That is really sharp. It's pretty cool, actually. Yes. I kind of like where the green starts at the bottom as sort of a stem. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you put that on last in order I did. to. Okay. I might not want the same, though. Okay. I don't know. Whatever my brain tells me. That is absolutely what you should do then. I'm liking these colors. I, I love how oh. you did that. You know what that is called ombre or something? Ombre. Does that effect? Okay. Um, uh, ombre. 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 Okay. Yeah, that is really, really cool. You can't really see the pink in this blue. That's okay. But you get the idea. Yes. Oh, this is so, so that pretty. Is. Oh, I love this. Yes. Yeah, I get mostly the green, a little bit of pink, and uh, oh. just the changing of the, the shades. Guards. Changing of the guards. That's right. Changing of the shades really Now I'm just going to do pink this. on this. I'm not too sure of that, but let's see. <laughs> no, I'm not good. Your face. You were like, oh, really? No. Yeah, I didn't think that would. I could be wrong, but I don't think that would have matched up real good. Now here you can only see the green, which is really pretty. I think I might just do one here and mm -hmm. I'm going to be done. Yes. Because it's so pretty. Exactly. It reminds me of the ocean. Personally. Yeah, it really is striking. That's done. Yes. That's done. It's so pretty. It is really, really I neat. can't do any more. It's, it's way too pretty. Of course, uh, Kathy did use the Catalyst number four wedge tool on oh, this. I love this. I'm going to tack on actually a demo of all of the different wedges that you can use and the different effects that they make at the, at the on to the end of this video. So stick around. Oh, I love this. Very, ah! very neat. So pretty. So you can use any colors of your choice. I'm uh, off to Cheryl and Williams tomorrow because I have another combination color. Okay, everybody, I'm back because we had a glitch in the video. So what I was going to say was Stick around because Phil is adding on the um, demonstration video of the Catalyst tools at the end of this. And um, I hope you all enjoyed my creation today. It's a little bit different. It's an ombre, which is really pretty. And uh, I hope you all subscribe to my channel. I would love to have all of you hit the bell, share it with your friends, give me a thumbs up. It Thumbs up really help my video. Comments help. And uh, let me know what you think. And uh, if you want the Catalyst Rudges, they are in my Amazon shop. So head on over there. And uh, until the next creation, I'll see you all later, alligators. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So what I'm going to do on this video, I'm showing you how to use the three different types or four different types of catalyst wedges. Phil is tacking this on, so I'm gonna show you also how I painted my canvas. I just took my color to go from Sherwin-Williams.
straight out of the can here. No water, no silicone, no glue. And this is just an empty puppy. And I just take my paintbrush and do this. I usually do a sponge, but today I'm doing this paintbrush. Well, I think the paintbrush would leave it a little bit thicker than doing a sponge, wouldn't it? Well, it doesn't, ha it doesn't have to be real thick. I know, but... Um... Now I'm just doing my sides now. Then I'll come back so no one gets confused. We'll make it pretty. Now, Phil, you know you could do this. That I think I could do, yes. So <laughs> I'm going to have you practice, <clears throat> and I'm going to video you. Because some people don't know what you look like. They're asking me what you look like. And I just say, goofy. But I think it, you're going to see quite a difference in these catalyst wedges because of the teeth. And like I said, um, my favorite is number four, but I want all of you in the comments to tell me I which one. your favorite was number two. Number two. Number two. Um, tell me which one, you know, <laughs> is actually going to be your favorite. Um, okay. Okay, so that is how you prepare the canvas for uh, doing your wedge, okay. wedges. All right. So, <clears throat> bye bye, paint can. Okay, so now what I've done, I've taken my three colors again, put them on my plate, and we're going to start out with these numbers. So I'll go two, three, and four. Okay. I'll go in order. Of course, I'm starting out with my favorite. Hopefully I have enough paper towels here. If not, okay. This is number two. Catalyst wedge number two. Okay, grabbing a little bit of each of the three colors. Okay, yeah. just onto the teeth. Okay. And here we go. Okay, wow. That so is... that's your number two. Okay, that's the type of pattern you get from the number two, all right. And you're actually bringing up some of the canvas. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep them separate so they can yes. see. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, now, let's see a number three. Number three. Sorry. Okay, kind of dull teeth, all right. Wider see teeth. My colors. This is the wider teeth. As you can see, oh yes, they're wider. That was a number two catalyst. No, this was a number three. I know. I, you, oh, you're not paying attention to what I'm doing. No, I'm, I'm pointing out oh. this was number two, and this was number three catalyst wedge. Okay, now we're Very coming different. up to number four. That's four. Okay. As you can see, that's even wider. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, uh, I personally like that one in the respect that it brought up uh, between the paint 
uh, heavier paint is the is more of the lighter blues and the base. So that was number four. Now I can show them this yes. little dinky number 24. Yeah, well, that's how I wanted to see the teeth so they could see. Well, I'll show you after now. Okay, so all right. be able to see it. Okay, where am I gonna go here? I'll just do a little one here. And see, it really doesn't bring up much of the underneath canvas. Right. So, uh, depending on the effect you want, let me just uh, we'll take a look at that. Okay, little bitty teeth. All right. So, this was a number two. Mm -hmm. This was a number three wedge. Mm -hmm. This was a number four wedge, which I particularly like. And, and this is the number 24. Okay. So, you can create really, really different cool effects depending on what wedge you use. Yes. Now, um, maybe I will show the cake. Well, yeah, as because long as we're doing this. You can see the difference. You know, some people are using, what are those called? Cake decorator okay. tools. All right. So I don't know how this is going to work. As you can see, the teeth on those are sharp. I don't use these. Versus some of the uh, more duller teeth on the I guess we'll go wedges. over here. We'll just go up through here so they have a good view. It doesn't matter. This is just a demonstration. You don't get much of a creation. I really yes. like the movement of the wedges more so than the cake uh, decorating tools. Well, the cake tools are so sharp, the teeth are so sharp, it doesn't grab a lot of the, no. uh, of the paint. No, so, it doesn't. No, if you want a real subtle effect, that would work. That would, I'm, but I'm gonna do another one with this number four so you okay. can see, because Four and two are really cool. Ooh, is it pouring? Yeah, it's pouring out. <laughs> See the difference? I love that number four. Wow. That is so cool. It's very, very pretty. Right. I'm going to do it over this. Well, no, I'll leave the cake thing. Yes. So they can see it. But um, the catalyst tools are amazing. Uh, they should be in my Amazon shop, I believe. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are in the Amazon so shop. So remember, number two, number three, mm -hmm. number four, Phil's favorite. Yes. And this is the dinky number 24. Sharper teeth, okay. Sharper Very teeth sharp and teeth. teeth. So they all create. Okay, so now effects. what I'm going to do is. If I can, can you just hold your finger there? Because I'm going to pick this one. Maybe you can show that one again. That's the first one I did. This is the first one that this video was tacked onto. Okay. And that this, was all using the same wedge. Correct. And this is the one to show you all the different designs that you can get with the four wedges. So, I hope you learned something. Um... We're going to have Phil do one of these. It'll be fun whenever. I don't know when he's going to do it, but he's got to practice first. And uh, we'll see you all later, alligators. Have a great day, and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. Love you all. Bye-bye.